there, and welcome to our Seminar Notes plugin video. If you haven't done so already, please watch our system over video first before continuing. It lays on all the plugin basics you'll need for this video. Now onto the Seminar Notes plugin. This plugin allows users to take and save personal notes on your seminar, lecture, and sermon notes. You can even embed images and videos, and include links to PDFs, web pages, other resources, and more. As your users scroll through your content, they can simply tap Add New Note and take notes on the specific section of your lecture. The Seminar Notes plugin was made for all seminars and presentations in mind, including, but not limited to, lectures, classes, sermons, conference presentations, internal company presentations, and so on and so forth. To add a Seminar Notes plugin to your app, go to Plugins and Add Plugin. Find the Seminar Notes plugin by searching for it, clicking Add, then naming it. If you'd like to also add this plugin to your side menu, you can simply check this box. If not, no worries, we'll go over how to add it to the side menu later on in the video. First things first, you'll see two tabs here, Content and Design. Under Content, there are three sections, Image Carousel, Text, and a section for your items. This Content section is where you'll be storing all of your lectures, seminars, or presentations. You have a space for images, text, and links to your lecture notes. Let's start filling this section out. The Image Carousel is powered by our media library. To learn more about our media library, please click the video here. The Image Carousel is where you can upload images for your lecture. This can be the title of your lecture, relevant images to your lecture, or there could be images that are deep linked to other parts of your app. For more information on deep linking, please see this video here. The text section is powered by our text WYSIWYG, which you can learn more about here. Use this space to insert a summary about your class or other important information. Now this is the fun part. This next section is how you'll go about filling in your plugin with your seminars and lectures. To start, click Add New Item. Keep in mind that one item equates to one lecture or seminar. Clicking this will take you to the Item Content tab. Here, you can start filling out this information by giving your lecture a title, a small summary or subtitle, and the date. The difference here between List Image and Image Carousel is a list image is what will represent this particular lecture on the previous page that will host all of your lectures. Link slash actions is where you can link to other resources. Maybe your lecture has a worksheet, additional reading, or some YouTube videos that go along with it. This section is where you'll do just that. If any of these resources are currently available within your app, then you can link to it as well by selecting Link to App Content in the drop-down menu here, and then selecting a plugin that has the resource that you'd like to link to. Use the content section to insert a transcription of your lecture, a summary of your seminar, some key points and takeaways, anything you'd like. This is the content that your users will be taking notes on. Item Design lets you put a background image behind your lecture content. Be careful as to not make the image too distracting. You want your text to still be legible. When you're finished, go back to Item Content and click Done. You'll see your first item now appear in your list of lectures, ready to be opened by your users and used to take notes. And to top off creating your Seminar Notes plugin, let's go over the Design tab. This is where you can change the format of your lectures, as well as add in a background image as well. Don't forget, keep the background image simple so it doesn't interfere with the text on this page. Now that I've gone over how to create the plugin, I'll give you a brief tutorial on how to use it. To take notes on a specific lecture, simply tap on the lecture, then tap Add New Note. If you haven't created an account before, then a screen for registering should pop up. The Seminar and Lecture Notes plugin requires users to create an account in your app in order to make and store their notes. Once you've registered, then you should be able to take notes directly into your plugin. To see all of the notes you've taken so far, just tap on Open Note List. From here, you can view and edit your notes. If you'd like to bookmark a particular lecture, just tap on this bookmark icon in the bottom right here. To view your lectures, notes, and bookmarks, you can tap on the respective categories in a footer bar here. You can also search through your lectures with a search bar here. Congratulations, it's that simple. Your Seminar Notes plugin has been created. However, if you didn't add to your side menu or create it within a folder, it's not yet accessible to your users. You will need to add it to the app on the home plugin, in a folder plugin, and or to the side menu. If you already know how to do this, feel free to skip this next section. If you have the launcher or folder plugin selected for your home plugin, you can add it to the home plugin by clicking on home plugin. Once you're there, scroll down and click Add Plugin Instance. Now find the plugin you created by searching for the title you gave it, selecting it and clicking Apply at the bottom. 
to add to a folder plugin, navigate to any folder plugin you've created and click on Add Plugin Instance. Then search for the title you gave it, select it, and click Apply at the bottom. To add it to the side menu, go to Plugins and Side Menu. Click on Select Plugin Instance and, you guessed it, search for the title you gave it, select it, and click Apply at the bottom. Your Seminar Notes plugin is now accessible within your app. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to check out other help videos and we'll see you next time.